Hi everyone and welcome to another Saturday sipping session with me, Sara, aka Queen of Queen, from Vin Van Keddy. And today I've got a very special guest. This is my very dear friend, Peter. Hi Peter. Hello. Thanks for coming. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Good. Um, Peter has just started a really exciting new coffee venture. Coffee venture. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see him around at about Panath with uh, your bike and your cart. Yeah, coffee uh, trike they call it. Trike. Tricycle. A trike. Yeah. So he's on a tricycle and he delivers coffee um, around that area. But you organise meetups as well, don't you? Yeah, I think it's all about bringing people together in a meaningful way. And it's like coffee and cookies are just a reason to do this, and hopefully we do it well. And I think uh, uh, wine is another reason to connect, so thanks for, for bringing me on board. Well, absolutely. So me and, me and Pete go way back, and we've known each other for a while now, and we would just get stuck into conversations about, um, well, about everything really, yeah. you know, about, you know, <laughs> philosophy of life and whatnot, but it was always over maybe a glass of wine or a cup of coffee, and um, I think the, the, the palette that you have especially it developed for, for for coffee is really good for wine yeah because you do actually pick out really um really good things and it's always interesting to hear your opinion so and i usually come up with very weird tasting notes yeah <laughs> <laughs> really bizarre <laughs> but coffee is like wine i feel like uh, uh everything or most of the stuff we do in the specialty coffee we uh we we kind of take from the wine industry it's like okay how we can do that because yeah. we have this misconception that coffee is the frappuccino with a lot of caramel sugar and all this stuff mm. but when you when you strip it down to the bare bones and you talk just about espresso and a filter coffee mm -hmm. you can really talk about coffee like we used to talk about wine and that's yeah. a wonderful thing yeah yeah absolutely and it brings us together in a wonderful way yeah exactly i mean it, it's well done um it's all about starting a conversation, isn't it? Yeah. And it's really easy to start a conversation with this guy. Um, and they will never stop, be careful. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> I think that's the, that's the main thing, isn't it? Um, so today, so a while back, me and Pete, we went to Corrado in town. For those who don't know, it's a really cool Spanish restaurant and they've got all kinds of really nice uh, Spanish food, obviously, but also um, a really impressive Spanish wine list. Mm. Um, and we had a nice glass of bread and I can't remember fully what that glass of red was, but Pete really liked it. And since then, we've kind of been trying to find something that he's going to like. Um, and it's also really good then to, uh, because that kind of, uh, I keep saying that about coffee, that it's also when you're trying to find something you like, speak to someone who does it and tell them what you like and they find something for you. Mm -hmm. Just because you don't like uh, a filter coffee, it, maybe you just don't like that particular filter coffee. Maybe mm -hmm. you just don't like that particular red, red wine. So yeah. that's why it's good to reach out to someone like Sara. What I did, tell me, uh, this is what I like in wine. What can I have from this huge list, which is mm -hmm. so confusing and I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. Can you help me with that? And that was wonderful to, uh, to, to uh, and Sara just, you know, hit the 10 over there. You know, it, it was just a wonderful experience. So thank you for that. Well, hopefully we'll have another wonderful experience. Let's do this. Um, so this wine that I've chosen today is a new wine that we have in. This is an organic um, Monastrel. This is called Carta Roja. It's uh, 2018 vintage. Now, Monastrel is the grape variety. Monastrel is also known as Mouvedre in France and in other places. Have you heard of Mouvedre? No idea. No, it's, 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 it tends to be used in blends, so like GSM blends. So it'll be Grenache, Syrah, Mouvedre blends, for example. Um, you'll see that a lot in the south of France. Um, but they do it a lot, just 100% in Spain. And this is 100% Monastrel mm -hmm. uh, from the south. So it's from Jumilla, is the way um, that you pronounce it. But, or, I'll, I'll or try. That's oh, fine. That's cool. Jum Jamila is what my mum says. <laughs> um, it's, it's near, it's like southeast Spain. So the, the climate is really warm. Um, the soil is really, really dry. It's quite infertile, which is weirdly enough, like great for grape growing. Um, so you will get lots of really nice, ripe, dark fruits in there. Mm. You can it's quite um intense on the nose and especially yeah. with the color like the color is really deep isn't it yeah when you open the bottle i just got this in my face with with, with all the berry sugary sweet beautiful acidity it it was it's very Straight it, it is complex it is complex but it's complex in this beautiful simple way it's not overpowering it, with the smell mm. but we gotta try it as well absolutely and those legs as well i don't know if you can see but so this is 14 percent and i think 
it says you can see the leg but yeah cool you can see the 14 percent in the glass yeah. can't yeah, you yeah yeah it's nice to have big glasses because usually we're, we're we're using um iso tasting glasses so it's really nice for once to have a really big red wine glass mm. it's the same thing with coffee when we uh smell 60 percent of what you can taste is the smell so when you have a blocked nose you can't really taste anything right so it's good to have a big glass mm -hmm. Or like when you have espresso, ask for the bigger cup if you like espresso. Mm -hmm. Or if you have filter coffee, pour a little bit of filter coffee in a bigger cup so then you can actually smell it better, you taste it better. The same thing with the wine, I would imagine. And, mm. and that's cool. Absolutely. And you get all of those dark fruit flavors that come out on the palate. You get the blackberry. Um, what did you say earlier? Yeah, I, I really feel like if, if the raspberry had a, had a twin and it was a cherry, like a dark cherry, that's how it would taste like. So a raspberry, dark cherry experience. Maybe if a raspberry and a dark cherry had a baby. Yes. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. makes more sense. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, it does have a nice, uh, it's got a savory edge to it as well. Um, like I said, this is an organic wine, so it does have this, I um, don't know if it's got like an organic tang, because the acid is really prominent there. Like it's, yeah. there's a nice balance. It's not jammy. It's not. Um, it's quite a light body, to be honest. Like when you think. About well, it. I would say it's medium bodied. It's, it's it's. Yeah, like I expected something heavier. That's what I mean. Yeah, and I think yeah. the acid can lift it. I think that's the yeah. nice thing. The acid lifts it up, so yeah. it's not it's not um, cloying and it's not too heavy. It's nice and refreshing. Help yourself to some more. Like mm. if you <laughs> it's, it's, it's you're really, really enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the reason I chose this as well is because this wine is also vegan. Um, mm. I think we've talk, talked about vegan wines before. Do you know what makes a wine vegan? It is interesting because you, you think, okay, well, it's alcohol. I mean, why wouldn't it be vegan? Yeah. Uh, or like beers as well. Like, why wouldn't the beer be vegan, right? It's just, you know, like here, what? It's just grapes. What? Just grapes. Grapes, <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, it's just, just grapes. It's right? just, There's no just, added just water, grapes. sugar, or anything like this. It's no, just it fermented all, it all grapes, comes from, right? Yeah, it's so, why yeast. wouldn't the wine be vegan? I think you need to explain that because yeah. that is actually cool. So, the reason that wine isn't vegan is because after the whole uh, fermentation and the process um, of making the wine, then you're always going to have um, bits, basically. You've got bits from the, from, the, from the grapes and from the process. And the way to clarify all of these, so you use a fining agent, and the fining agent will um, almost act like a magnet. And this fining agent kind of attracts all of the little bits. They all clump together, and then they can be um, removed from the wine, which is what gives it a really nice, clear, still kind of consistency, because you know, it's nice to have orange juice with, with pulp, but you yeah. don't want that with your wine. No. So the fining That's agents... Weird. No, exactly. <laughs> so the fining agents traditionally used would be uh, egg whites, uh, gelatin, which is an animal protein, milk protein, or fish bladder protein, none of which are vegan. So yeah. it's not to say yeah. that there's egg whites in your wine, but it's been in contact with a wine, which means it's not guaranteed vegan. Um, but there are ways of using... Um, Kind of clay based products and charcoal based products uh, or you just don't use a fining agent and you use maybe physical barriers so you can use like a sieve you can use different things to mm -hmm. um to, to remove these um, clumps mm -hmm. which sounds a bit gross and mm -hmm. um, so yeah and organic wines do tend to um be vegan as well because they're trying to limit the effect that they have on the environment which mm -hmm. also means that they do kind of tend to be vegan as well which is always um an added bonus if that's what you're looking for. Mm, but it's cool. Like I, I wouldn't even think uh, that uh, something like this is happening in the wine industry. Uh, but hey, you know, it's good to know. Yeah, absolutely. Know. And I think it's also with this, uh, uh, the more knowledge you have about something, the easier it is to first of all pick something you enjoy uh, and you're going to like that. Like just looking at the label and looking at the grape variety and looking at the, you know, the, the, the climate, where it was grown, how it was processed, whether it's mm -hmm. organic or not, whether it's vegan or not. And having all those uh, all the all the info, then it's easier to uh, to purchase something you're going to enjoy. Uh, you most likely will support something which is quality and doesn't destroy the environment. Yeah. Um, and it's just better for everybody, for yeah. for the planet, for you, uh, for the producer. Absolutely. Um, there's something on my face. I can feel it. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah. So what do you think? Is mm. this a? I know it's. It, this is usually because it it's got some. It's got a little bit of tannin to it. Um, yeah, but it's not too much, it's not, it's not overpowering. No. So we would focus here on the acid first and then the sweetness. It comes very, very gently, goes on the sweet sweet side. And it doesn't, and it has a little bit of that tannins at the back, but it's not too crazy. And no. I think it stays on that uh, raspberry cherry like yeah. 
uh, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the, there's a fruit baby. The fruit baby. Absolutely. The fruit baby. This nice... is a fruit baby Rioja. But did I say it right? Yeah, it's it, Rioja. So this Rioja. isn't this isn't a Rioja. Um, Rioja is a region in north of ah, Spain. I've had a lot of people, we put this on the tasting yeah. uh, two weeks ago on the organic wine tasting, yeah. and a lot yeah. of people, because it kind of, it looks like a similar, yeah. um, I'll post some pictures yeah, as well, yeah, yeah. but it does look like a Rioja yeah. style, yeah. which it isn't. Um, it does have, it's got this mesh around it as well, yeah. which I hate, by the way, mm. I think it looks really tacky, but the wine is really nice, so we just hey, have well, to. Hey, well, don't judge book by its cover. No, exactly, yeah. exactly, um, so we do accept it. But I think the the winery as well. The winery has been going on since before the Spanish Civil War. The, the the vineyard is one of the first vineyards of the region as well. So the um, the vines used to make these wines are so old and like the old kind of bush vines are the best wines for making really nice, lovely, deep, concentrated, complex wines. But there's um, something you cannot buy for money. It's time. Right, and mm -hmm. once uh, once you have a uh, a company and it's just being passed from generation to generation, it's not only that passion and the attention to detail and the quality, which is kind of something you grow up with, yeah. and and there's no other way. Mm. You just do it as standard, and then you can just grow from that. Yeah. And I think that's something so so important then to again to know, mm -hmm. because then that will you know justify paying a little, maybe I don't know two pounds more. How much is this wine by the way? This is ten ninety nine. That's ridiculous. I think it's so cheap. Yeah. for the quality you're getting and Absolutely. then the story behind it as well uh, and, and the complexity of the actual thing as mm. well it, it's delicious it's, it's really really good and, and, the, and the same thing you know do you want to spend you know six pounds six pounds to get two bottles of wine and then just get drunk or do you want to experience something unique and beautiful mm -hmm. and I think I would definitely focus on the second one absolutely and this is 14 percent, so it will get you back oh, yeah, if you finish yeah. it <laughs> for sure <laughs> yeah. cool well this is now available like I said it's 10.99 unless um, I buy it all so hurry up. Yeah, I might have to put in another order. <laughs> uh, this is available at 10% off on the website binbancaddy.co.uk. Um, I'll put a link on our social media. Um, so it's available from today until next Friday. Um, so yeah, we do free delivery within Cardiff next day. And we do click and collect service as well. So if you want to come down and have a chat, you don't necessarily have to buy this wine, but come and find out um, what other wines we have in store. Um, then please do and I think that's it yeah it's awesome it's awesome thanks for having me and uh, thanks for coming yeah you should buy that one it's yeah. Yeah. there we go <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed this week's Saturday sipping session until next week we'll see you soon take it easy oh you've got none left oh sorry well I have a little bit left <laughs>